Good evening. Uh, today we have a case presentation on anemia in pregnancy. This is X, a uh, primary of 24 years, hailing from Chennai of lower middle class family, belonging to Kupasami class of 3 with a last menstrual period on 8th of July 2021 with an estimated uh, delivery date on 14 4 2022 with gestational age of 38 weeks plus 3 days came to OPD with complaints of easy fatigability for the past 2 days perceiving fetal movements well there is no complaints of bleeding PV, leaking PV or any abdominal pain What does it suggest easy fatigability? Uh, suggest to of anemia mm. There is complaints of uh, breathlessness which is sudden and onset which is not relieved by any medication there is no complaints of blurring of vision, epigastric pain, decreased urine output. There is a complaint of uh, bilateral leg swelling for the past one week. There is no history of any elevated BP. Why did you ask history of blurring of vision, epigastric pain and decreased urine output? To rule out uh, gestational hypertension, ma'am. Okay. And pedal edema, you know the causes? Uh, because it can either be of anemia or mm -hmm. uh, in case of any proteinuria, in case of uh, elevated BP, ma'am, preeclampsia. Yeah. yeah. So it can be physiological or uh, pathological. pathological. The physiological is because of the compression of the IVC is due to the uh, gravid uterus. Compressing on the IVC and the pathological edema is because of preeclampsia. Pre then anemia and failure. Anemia and failure. Congestive heart, heart failure. failure. Right sided. Then uh, renal disease, hypoproteinemia and Binks edema. Uh, menstrual history, patient had a regular 3 by 30 day cycle or she changed to 2 pads per day. There is no history of any passage of clots. Marital history, she is married for 1 year. It is a non-consanguineous marriage. Uh, present obstetric history, first trimester, she confirmed her pregnancy at 45 days of amenorrhea, confirmed by dating scan and NT scan. There is no history of any radiation exposure, fever with rash, hyperemesis gravidorum, headache, spotting PV. Tablet folic acid was taken regularly. Okay, uh, what is full form of NT? Nuclear translucency scan. When is it done? From 11 weeks to 14 weeks of gestation. Okay, why did you ask history of fever with rash? Uh, to rule out any mumps, measles, rubella, mm -hmm. torch yeah. panel infections. Yeah. Congenital rubella, rubella syndrome, syndrome. Okay. which can cause congenital malformations in the baby. Second trimester, quickening was felt at 5 minutes of amenorrhea. Anomaly scan was done, growth scan was done, OGTT was done and it was normal. Two doses of injection TD taken. There is no history of headache, blurring of vision, epigastric pain or decreased urine output. There was no history of uh, burning maturation. Third trimester, a patient had complaints of uh, head uh, on and off. There was no history of blurring of vision, epigastric pain or decreased urine output. She had complaints of swelling of leg for the past one week. Perceived fetal movements well. There is no history of bleeding PV, abdominal pain, leaking PV or any history of BP elevation. Past medical history, it was nil significant. There was no history of any diabetes, hypertension, bronchial asthma, thyroid disorders, epilepsy, cardiac disorders, or any blood transfusion or drug allergy. Surgical history, there was no surgical past history. Family history, it is not relevant. Not significant. Not significant. Okay. Uh, on examination, a uh, patient's height is 150 centimeter, weight was 70 kgs. She was moderately built and nourished. Oh, sorry, she was obese, conscious, oriented. Her blood pressure was 110-70 millimeters of mercury. Pulse rate was 90 beats per minute. On examination, patient is afibrite, paler plus, bilateral pedal edema was present. There was no cyanosis, ictris or lymphadenopathy. Thyroid appear, glands appeared normal. Spine, there was no scoliosis and it was normal. Bilateral breasts were normal. On systemic examination, cardiovascular system, S1, S2 hurt. There was no added sound. Respiratory system, normal vesicular sounds hurt. In parabdomen, inspection, abdomen is longitudinally enlarged, stia gravidarum was present, linea gravid nigra was present, there was no engorged veins and vessels, abdominal wall edema was present. Palpation, symphysial fundal height correspond to 38 centimeters, first pelvic grip, it was broad, sorry, first abdominal grip, grip, it was broad, soft, non-bellotable mass, probably breech, second uh, Grip, second umbilical grip, it was a uniform curved resistance felt in the right side, multiple knobs felt on the left side. Uh, first pelvic grip, which is the third grip, it is a hard, bellotable, independently bellotable mass, farm firm mass felt, which was mobile, which is probably the head. And the uh, fourth umbilical grip, it is the first, second pelvic grip, it confirms the first grip and the head is not engaged. Fetal heart, uh, is, heart rate is heard on the right spino umbilical line of about 150 beats per minute. Per speculum, cervix and vagina were healthy. Per vaginal examination, cervix was soft, posterior, 2.5 cm long, os closed, vertex was higher. 
So management with hemoglobin 7 grams per deciliter and urine albumin nil, chest was clear on auscultation, blood transfusion was given under diuretic cover and patient went into labor spontaneously. Mm -hmm. In intrapartum period, on first stage, a propped up position was kept, auto inhalation, restricted IV fluids of about 75 ml per hour, antibiotic injection ceftrioxone 1 gram IV stat was given after a test dose and epidural analgesia was provided. In second stage of labor, it was cut short by forceps delivery. In third stage, an active management was done by uh, administering 10 units of oxytocin IM to the mother after the delivery of fetal shoulders and a control cord traction and uterine massage was done. Okay. So, uh, what is your provisional diagnosis? Uh, a 24-year-old primary gravida at 38 weeks of gestation with moderate anemia with good fetal heart sounds and not in failure. Not in failure. Okay. So, can you define anemia? Anemia is uh, defined as a quantitative and a qualitative diminution of blood, uh, blood and or hemoglobin concentration in related to a standard age and sex. The standard definition of uh, World Health Organization for the diagnosis of anemia in pregnancy is when hemoglobin concentration is lower than 11 gram per deciliter. In pregnancy, it, if it is less than 11 gram per deciliter in the first and third trimester and 10.5 gram per deciliter in the second trimester is taken as an anemia. But during postpartum period, when hemoglobin is less than 10 gram percentage, it is regarded as anemia. Due to high prevalence of anemia in India, a level of less than 10 gram is considered as anemia in clinical practice also. Okay, so you should mention here regard to age and gender. Tell okay, me. don't use this word. Yes, ma'am. What do you mean by paler? Are the two terms anemia and paler interchangeable? Anemia is a pathological state, whereas paler is the clinical manifestation. Paler is a waxy appearance which is paleness on the skin and the mucous membrane which depends upon the thickness and the quality of skin and the quality and quantity of blood in the capillaries. Whereas anemia depends on the quality and quantity of RBCs or hemoglobin. Yeah, so paler is a clinical diagnosis Di and anemia is a lab diagnosis. How will you clinically assess anemia? Uh, the patient is brought to the sunlight or, near the or in the window and mm. is asked to look upwards after retracting the lower lids mm. downwards. That mm. is uh, looking at both the eyes at the same time. Mm. So the paler is usually appreciated on the lower palpable conjunctiva. Okay. So what are the different sites you can look for anemia? Color of the tongue as well as the conjunctiva are more reliable than the other, other sites, sites in adult. In so what are the different grades of anemia and how will you assess them? Clinically, anemia is categorized as mild, moderate and severe and it is assessed clinically and uh, may not corroborate with the laboratory findings of hemoglobin. The gradings of anemia is arbitrarily classified as mild, moderate, severe and very severe. Mild is 10 to 10.9 gram per deciliter, moderate is 7 to less than 9.9. Severe is 5 to less than 7 and very severe is less than 5 gram percentage. So what are the risk periods when a pregnant lady can have cardiac failure if she has anemia with pregnancy? Around 30 weeks of gestation and after that because there is an increase in cardiac output of 40 percentage. Mm. During labor, her cardiac output increases by 50 percentage and mm. immediately after the delivery, her cardiac output will increase up to 80 percentage and in the first 7 days of puperal period. Why does the cardiac output suddenly increase after just after delivery? Resort back to its normal semen, increase in stroke volume. No, because suddenly there is a uh, uteroplacental circulation is cut off and all the placental blood is uh, now sequestered back into the maternal circulation. Okay. And why does it, uh, there is a risk period in purpurum? Because of the hypercoagulable state. What is physiological anemia and what is the criteria for diagnosing? 